Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again with a quick one for you. I've picked up a pair of TAC speakers from the South Hobart Tip Shop for five dollars for the pair. I couldn't resist it. I mean, they're, they're basic speakers. They're not anything really to uh, write home about. But they've been sitting in there about a week and it's got real nice looking wood veneer here. It's a bit dirty and needs cleaning. But on the bottom of each speaker is these felt pads here so they don't slide around the bookshelf or the desk because these are bookshelf speakers. And on the back here we've got a bass reflex port, the piano key style input connector. And there at the bottom it says TAC, there's no model number. Um, power capacity is 40 watts maximum. Impedance 6 ohms. 6 ohms? 6 ohms. Uh, TAC Corporation made in China. So I don't know what the actual model number of these speakers are. Maybe someone in the comments does. I'm not sure if this actually came with a TAC system or not at some point. Probably did. It's got removable front panels. There's the little little tweeter. Uh, probably a Mylar tweeter. And a basic 5 inch I'm going to say woofer. And covered in a fine layer of Ew. Dust. So what I need to do is I need to hook these up to an amplifier. Now I don't have any spare speaker cable lying around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I'm good at and bodgy it to the amplifier. Uh, I'm just going to use some tin copper wire sticking out of the sockets and some jumper leads just to make the connections. Um, then I've got to figure out a way of getting an input signal in but I'll, I'll do one thing at a time. All right, I've got uh, the speaker connections bodged into my home-built 15 plus 15 watt amplifier using some alligator clip test leads to connect to the speakers. So the amplifier kind of makes it look swamped, but all right, turn the amp on. A little bit of a pop there. I can hear mains hum coming out the speaker so I know the amplifier is working this probably wasn't the best design that I ever came up with but it is what it is so now I need to find uh, a way of getting an audio source in I don't have a spare lead as far as I know I need to rob one off of the other amplifier okay I found an audio lead so it's all set up ready to go Let's play my favourite track. test I don't want to really play a three and a half minute song um, they sound all right for what they are they do sound a little bit heavy on the bottom end compared to the speakers I've got connected to the other amplifier on the floor but I guess it's just what it is it is what it is is basically what I'm trying to say um, TAC in general were not the 
best in equipment. Back in the 80s when they built like the TC3 uh, tape deck which had um, solenoid control and some form of uh, IC logic behind it, transistor logic or whatever it was, I think it was transistor logic, one of those big three head uh, tape decks that you could uh, record and monitor what was recorded on the tape after it recorded it, which was a nice feature. Uh, those sort of uh, TAC devices were, were brilliant. That, that's what you'd call a high-end, well, I suppose in today's uh, you know, world, audiophile type equipment. However, as years went on into the 90s, products like these were really cheap and nasty. Uh, considering that none of them are made in Japan anymore, um, yeah, they're just, they're just kind of rubbishy. But they're alright for what they are. So what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm going to turn this off for a start. Is What I'm planning on doing is I might set up the 15 watt plus 15 watt amplifier sitting on top of the speakers there at the back of my desk as a test amplifier and have these speakers either end of the desk uh, just so I can test other audio equipment. It will limit the space that I have on the desk, so I really need to come up with a shelf idea um, just so I can put the oscilloscope up higher, maybe the light up higher, and like put the speakers either end of it, I suppose. I don't know. Um, that That's food for thought for later. However, I'm reasonably satisfied with these uh, crappy little speakers. Yeah, okay. They are what they are. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here, and if you enjoyed it, please remember, as always, to go down there and like and subscribe and comment if you haven't done so already. And, um, yeah, I've got some future videos coming up of uh, some interesting experimentations with preamplifiers and stuff. Uh, so look out for those videos. Anyway, um, I'm the Astro 30, and I'm going to say, see ya, have a great day.